y'all, it's DT Gaming and I'm back with episode 8 of the Family Dynamics Challenge. So as you all can see, Lena is up and awake and she's just eating some fruit parfait. And y'all, I'm I was looking at this fruit parfait and I was like, is that like blueberries and strawberries and something? <laughs> like it was layered, like it was cute. So today is indeed spooky day. And um, Lena has a couple of things that she likes to do. We were gonna throw a whole like spooky day party thing, but she goes to work at six and it really, really sucks that she works so late. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna have Miss Lena put on her little costume and there's nothing wrong with that because it is spooky day. I'm gonna, ooh, hello, um, sure. So our sink just broke, we're gonna replace it. I don't, I don't, I don't have time. So, um, we're going to just immediately jump into it. We're gonna wear a costume. I think I want her to go as, hmm, let's see, a pregnant Princess Leia. I think that would be so cute. Oh, yeah. Oh, she's adorable. Okay, Miss Lena, I really need you to take a selfie in your cute little outfit because you're so adorable. I also, I know I have like selfie. <gasps> Look at you, uh, so gorgeous. I don't know why she's sitting on the floor, but <laughs> look at her and her Princess Leia buns, period. Yes, you are serving face queen. <laughs> she's so cute. Also, I know y'all are probably wondering, like, oh my gosh, yes. You better give them face, yes. Oh, gorgeous. So I know you guys are probably wondering if Lena is, you know, in her first trimester still, will she be having a maternity shoe? She absolutely will be having a maternity shoe. It's gonna be a whole thing, but she just wants to wait until she's a little bit later in her pregnancy. Um, she also she also has a gender reveal party coming up that she is going to be kind of helping to plan. Like she's not gonna be, you know, full on, you know, planning everything because she obviously cannot know the gender of her babies. But I think we are going to, and just just invite the girls out because <laughs> I don't want to see Clayton quite yet. I I'm not I'm not in a place where I wanna um I wanna see him quite yet. I know in this episode we are probably going to end up telling Clayton that we are pregnant and. I just know that it's gonna crush his spirit. I already know because Clayton has been in love with Lena for so long. And also, y'all have to remember, we have seven days to get married and we have to make a choice. Like, I don't know, I have no clue what to do. I really, really, really need y'all's help because I genuinely have no idea what to do. And I know that Lena really wants or needs this inheritance money, but we also have to stick to the rules. Like. When we get married, we have to stay married to that person until death do us part. And I know for a fact that Lena would want to be married to somebody that she loves. She just does not have a very high romantic relationship with anybody. And I just, I really hate that for her because now we have to create that in like seven days. So if y'all are wondering why we were why we are here and why we are in build mode, I am just simply putting down some pumpkin carving stations because Lena really wants to us carve some pumpkins. And I probably should have prepped this, but that's my fault. I you know what it is what it is. So um, I'm going to have her try to do a no, not cockeyed. Let's do um, it knocked it off already. Um, let's do a cat and no, I don't want to do that one either. Um, let's look at the options. Yes, let's try to do a green pumpkin ghost. And I did also put control any sim in. So we are going to control all of the girls. We're not gonna be here for too, too long because like I said, Lena does have to um, go to work in about in an hour and a half. So I'm gonna go ahead and control all the girls and I want them to also join Miss Lena in wearing their costumes because I don't want her to seem like this, you know, like kooky crazy lady who is, the only one wearing a costume. So I'm gonna have Tori join her in being something from uh, Star Wars. <laughs> I'm not sure, I think I think whatever it is, I think it's a, a Yela, I, whatever this is. I think this is something from uh, 
uh, what's it called? What did I just say? Star Wars. <laughs> um, I think I'm gonna have Lilith just be an astronaut. So this is her costume. They all look so cute. Oh my goodness, I love it. Um, I think Bella's gonna come over here and join her bestie in making a um, a pumpkin. I think she's gonna do just a, a white cockeyed pumpkin. And this is so cute, oh my gosh, look at Tori. So I think Tori is going to um, discuss her costume and this is so adorable. Oh my gosh, I need a picture. I need a picture so bad, oh my gosh. This is literally so cute. I actually really like these like pumpkin carving stations. They're so adorable. So like I said, we're not gonna be here extremely long. I genuinely just wanted to get some pumpkin carving done. And I wish that I would have decorated for um, Spooky Day, but that's all right. So we're going to have um, Tori kind of come over here and spray some graffiti. Our notification wall is full. She reached her hand is level three. That's cool. Um, actually, no, I think I'm gonna have Tori do some karaoke. I think this would be really cute. Let's do a country duet with Lilith Pleasant. Just to kind of keep everybody involved in something. I really don't, I don't want you to be in my conversation. I'm so sorry. Like, I just don't. I don't even know who you are. Please go away. Thank you. So it looks like these two are over here singing some karaoke. Oh, they sound awful. <laughs> okay. So it looks like there are some people maybe wearing costumes. I'm not sure. Um... We're just gonna kind of talk about Spooky Day with um, Bella here, compliment her costume, because she looks so adorable. We definitely have to go to work in like, what, an hour? Or no, 30 minutes. So I do want to take a photo with Bella if we can. And maybe after work, when she gets off at 2 a.m. Well, actually no, Spooky Day will be over by then. I was gonna say we could play some games, but that's all right. So we might just have her be a little bit late to work. So let's see if we can finish our pumpkin. Probably not. She can be late. I genuinely, I'm not too fussed about it. I really want her to finish her pumpkin and I'll put it in her inventory for her. I'll have Bella stop because I really do need Lena to be at work. I don't want her to be like two hours late because that's just really, really bad. So I don't really know what's going on with Lena, but she's over here like freaking out about something. This is Dirk Dreamer and I love how Bella's just like, Oh, is he not a celebrity? Hmm, interesting. Um, I do want her to take that quick picture with Bella because ah, I want. I just want to. I really want to. I'm sorry. Um, they're too cute. Also, y'all, I don't want y'all. I didn't forget about this. We have five days to find Lena some love <laughs> because oh goodness. Um, so it looks like Lena likes photography. We already know they go immediately to these romantic poses. Yeah, let's, this is so cute. Uh, I love them, they're adorable. Mm, they're just a little close. Yeah, like, there we go. Can you fix your face? This is not <laughs> I can't lie, my Sims are low-key baddies. They're low-key, high-key baddies. Sorry, not sorry. What is this? I've never seen this pose before. Yes, y'all better serve face. I want them to smile. There we go. Okay, perfect. So you're taking some pictures. I do want her to take a picture with Tori before we leave though, because her and Tori are kind of like matching in a sense um, with their costumes. I'm gonna go ahead and stop controlling um, everyone so that we don't forget. And oh, she's so tense. <laughs> We're trying to get we're trying to get her out of her shell a bit because she is <laughs> very very loner like oh my gosh this doesn't even look like Tori that's so crazy it's kind of spooky <laughs> but it's cute oh this is so adorable I know that the poses are the same we're not gonna talk about it. This is so cute. Yes, these are definitely going on her on her post award. And I've been saying that she needed to have uh, um, photos with her friends because we have pictures of both of the guys that we are into on our wall. And we need some girls up in there. We need some girl power. So um, I'm going to have Lena go ahead and go to work in her Princess Leia costume because it's spooky day. So it's totally fine. But 
I will see you guys when Lena gets off of work. So Lena is officially back from work. She's always thirsty after she gets home from work. So I'm gonna have her refill her water bottle because she definitely, um, <laughs> she's thirsty um her second trimester is in three days which means that she's gonna be in her second trimester a day before this um little prompt is over so we are going to drink some water and i am just gonna have her go to bed i think she also has to work tomorrow but i want her to go and see Clayton I do I want her to go and see Clayton before she goes off to work um only because they haven't seen each other in a long time and I think she's gonna try to maybe butter him up a little bit I know my restaurants still aren't working but I'm gonna give it one more try we're gonna go for brunch and hopefully you know uh it'll be within a timely manner that way um but I think that she's gonna invite Kason out to brunch and she's gonna She's gonna finally tell him that she's pregnant. And I think that I'm more nervous for her telling Clayton than I was for her telling Kaysen. And to me, <laughs> that's saying a lot because Kaysen is the father of the baby. So that should be more, you know, heart wrenching and scary and all those things. But Lena just feels something with clayton like i know she does i know she's not stupid i know she's not an idiot she just doesn't know what it is you know like they've been friends for so long so it's that really awkward stage of like i know i have feelings for you but i went and made a mistake and i also like him too but i don't know if he, we like each other in the same way like she just has a lot of figuring out to do and i think that she really needs to start with going on a date with with Kaysen she has not been on a date with Kaysen at all and you know he's a busy man and I'm not saying that that's an excuse because it's not you know people will do what they want to do and if he really wanted to be with her he would say so and he would make it happen but Lena doesn't have that much time <laughs> you know like she's scared that her children are gonna grow up without their father or grow up in a similar situation than she did and she she really wants to voice that to Kaysen you know she basically grew up with nannies <laughs> she grew up with not being as close to her parents as she wanted to or she needed to as a child like she just doesn't want that for her kids and I don't want her to force a relationship with Kaysen absolutely not but I think that it's worth a try so I think tomorrow we're going to end up telling Clayton that we are pregnant and maybe try to fit a little date with, with uh, Kaysen. It is fall festival, so we might be able to make, make a little something shake. That might be fun. So Miss Lena is up bright and early, way, way, way before her alarm went off. And she's going to run to the restroom because, you know, pregnancy bladder. And she's going to brush her teeth. Does she have morning sickness this morning? Actually, no, that's pretty good. So um, we're going to use the restroom. We're even going to give, oh, no, he's back in his bed. We'll let him rest. So um, I think that we have a few leftovers, but we're going to text Clayton after we brush our teeth and just ask him and be like, hey, like, you want to go out to brunch? I know there's a really, really nice restaurant um, in town, and I heard that their food is really good, but I'm, I've am i never been. So um, I think we're going to set our laundry down. We might even start a little. Oops, we might even start a little laundry. OK, I was going to say, do we have laundry? Um, we'll start a little laundry and we'll see what Clayton says. I don't want this to take all day, so I really would like to be out by 1.30. Um, let's see, can we send him? No, we can't, okay. So, oh, her sink is dirty. Her sink gets dirty so often, it's kind of gross. Um, can you put the clothes down, please? Okay, um, can we add those to the washing machine as well? Her pajamas are so cute. <laughs> I'm actually kind of living for her makeover. Oh, she did it anyways. Crate. Crate? <laughs> I meant great. Um, I've been mixing my words up and mashing them into one word lately, and I don't know what that's about. So I'm going to have her polish her um, sink before she leaves. It looks like Clayton was down for some um, 
some brunch so it's a little cool outside is it cool wait hold on i always say is it cool or is it cold okay it's definitely cold so we will put on let's see let's put on a little let's put on a little dress um and get kind of cute we I'm, I'm i'm looking at this we now have three days i don't understand how it's going down so fast i i don't has it been four days already like i don't know how i feel about that that's really scary um so we're gonna wash the laundry after we change our clothes and we're gonna go out with clayton so the restaurant that i am talking about is right here it's called the gardens we i think uh came with Kaysen, but we decided to leave because it was just a little too dressy i can't remember if that's what happened but i i vaguely i vaguely remember and i think that that's what happened but we're gonna try to take uh clayton to the um the gardens and see if see if we can actually get a restaurant to work before we have to go to work so here we are at the gardens this is a very 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 nice restaurant i am kind of obsessed with this restaurant it's really a date place but you know that's all right um i don't know what kind of restaurant he's wearing his cold weather wear is she wearing her cold weather wear because we're outside is that what's happening no, she's wearing her formal wear. I was like, this isn't one of her cold weather wears. Um, so yes, this is a formal restaurant. So we are gonna help uh, Clayton out. I, I keep wanting to call him Kaysen. See, <laughs> that's so bad. Um, we'll just put him in and ooh, this little tux right here. <laughs> that's so cute. Um, and we're just gonna sit in the garden area. Oh, this is beautiful. Oh my goodness. I don't even know where to sit. Oh my God this is gorgeous i think we're gonna sit over here this is absolutely gorgeous um i am going to also ooh, hold up hold up she wants to be mischievous to kaysen okay girl i am going to control clayton just to kind of help this go off without a hitch i know you're hungry i don't know why their feet are like stuck in the floor okay I don't know if that was like a glitch or something as you all can see i have not given simone a makeover hold on she wants to go to the warehouse nightclub. Maybe when we get off, maybe at 2 a.m. Um, as if Clayton can't tell, um, Lena is very, very pregnant. Um, but I think unlike Kaysen, I think that Lena is just gonna rip the bandaid off and she's just gonna come out and tell him. Um, and I know y'all are wondering like, why would she do that with, K uh, with Clayton, but not Kaysen? And I think the only the only reason is Clayton knows Clayton knows when there's something going on with Lena and he knows he knows her ins and outs. He knows everything about her. You know, she's immediately flirty. Oh, my gosh. No, no way. No way, Lena. <gasps> Lena, no way. <gasps> is he kissing her? Is he kissing her? This is not happening. This is not happening. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I really wish that y'all could see my face right now. I want to cry. Oh my gosh. He literally like just kissed her. He just kissed her. What? Uh, what? Clayton, uh, you're making this so hard. Uh, oh my gosh. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and order the food so it can be hopefully being made while we um wait i i'm speechless i literally have no words um she's of course going to get a wa well let's see what else can we have that's not alcohol but it's still pretty good um maybe we'll have an iced tea i don't know who this is i wish that they would load um y'all i oh perfect look at me choosing correctly um i think he's gonna get a hot toddy i don't know what that is but it sounds good um I, I'm speechless. This man literally just, the first thing, he just kissed her. They, and y'all, like, mind y'all, they have never kissed. They have never 
like never they've never kissed so like the fact that he just came right out and kissed her is kind i he's put me in a hard place like oh my god i don't know what to do because uh, i just i don't think that i don't I need y'all's help. I need y'all's help so bad because do y'all think that if Lena were to marry Clayton, that he would want to raise Kaysen's children? Hold up. Wait a, wait a minute. Wait a minute. What? Okay. We're going to ignore that. But, um, are we going to order our food? Okay. So while that's happening, um, I don't see the option to tell him that we're pregnant because apparently he already knows, which doesn't make any sense to me. I don't want to do the romantic way because they're going to like kiss and, and do a whole like thing, but I want to just tell him that we're pregnant. We might have to do it through the relationship pregnancy overhaul because yeah, I don't want to do it the romantic way. Cause, oh my God you guys stop it y'all are making this so hard for me um we're just gonna share the big news and just tell him she like i should not have brought them here <laughs> i should have known that they were just gonna be all flirty and just milking everything okay she's telling him i mean he's happy for her like but see that's what i'm saying i don't uh, and then he complimented uh, y'all i don't know what to do i don't know what to do i really don't i am stuck between a rock and a hard place right now like i genuinely have no clue what to do because first of all they're just flirting back and forth this is all happening autonomously i'm not pushing anything i'm not doing anything but lena we have three days to get married three we have three days to get married lena like i just don't uh -huh. oh. and this is not even oh. <sighs> okay the fact that this is not even like a sanctioned date like and they're just super flirty and you know all over one another just i just don't i don't know what to do why is it going down so fast like how is it two days already like i just don't understand i don't understand this game is stressing me out really stuck between a rock and a hard place right now like i genuinely am speechless at these two like i just don't know what to do like their chemistry is just so strong and i i cannot do anything about it so like look at them look at them and i it may be the atmosphere and that may be totally my fault but i just they just love each other so much and and we also we can't even express to him that he's not the father of the baby and obviously he knows that he's not the father of the baby because they they haven't woohooed. they have never woohooed before so like I just I don't know I don't know what's going through these these boys heads like I genuinely I have no clue so let's ask about his love life I'm tr I'm keeping it friendly it's these two that are getting all flirty and all the things so I wish that there was an icon that popped up that lets you know their response but I mean you can you can tell him that he looks nice there were their friendship bars all the way up so these are just kind of um, I was going to say formalities, but I don't want to say it that way, <laughs> but this is just them having a conversation. She is feeling irritable because of her pregnancy and her mood swings. I really wish that our food would come. I'm not sure where anything is in this place. Is the kitchen up here? Okay, great. Um, there are actually a lot of people here. <laughs> I can't lie. There's so many people here. Like, look, like, y'all, I'm literally just letting the game play, and they, like, look at their romantic relationship. Y'all, this is not, <laughs> this is not a sanctioned date, you guys, and it, y'all maybe be like, uh, duh, you took them to a nice restaurant where there's flowers and romance and candlelight and roses, but I mean, I wasn't thinking about it like that. I was just thinking there's a nice restaurant in town, let's go, let's talk, let's catch up, and these two are catching up. Their romantic relationship is almost at 
50, whereas her and Casey's relationship is at 34. Like y'all, we don't have time. We don't have time for this. And I just, I don't know. I just feel, I would just feel really bad for Clayton to raise Kaysen's children. But that's just me. Like, I mean, the heart wants what it wants at the end of the day. And if Lena is really in love with Clayton and that's who she wants to spend the rest of her life with, I mean, I can't stop her, but as I've said a million times, I cannot make that decision without giving Kaysen a fair chance. I honestly don't think that we're gonna get the inheritance money. I I just can't see it happening because she's just in between a rock and a hard place right now. And I, in, in my opinion, she's between a rock and a harder place because like there are these two great men and of course, you know, she got knocked up by one, but there are these two great men in her life and one of them is her Problem best friend and i just don't know <laughs> if Brad if Kaysen can top that like Scoop. honestly like <laughs> i just don't know if Kaysen can Jolly. top the Espa. history that these two have with each other i don't know if he can uh, top you know oh, the things that they've been through Bottom i just Robbie? i just don't know if he can and oh, yes. he might he might be able Back to oh he's a commercial oh. spokesperson that's so cool um it doesn't look like our food is coming. We're coming to be checked up on by our waiter, but we... I might have to give restaurants a rest until we get the dine-out mod in because this is atrocious. Like, this is really bad. I don't see anyone... First of all, I don't see anyone here. Second of all, there's one chef that's actually cooking right now. And what are you doing? Oh, she's going to work. Yeah, so... I don't know y'all I, I i genuinely don't know what to do but i i think what i'm gonna do um fall festival was kind of it was okay um she wore a costume yesterday so she didn't want to wear one today but y'all let me know what y'all think i i doubt that by the time that the next episode comes this will even be an option but i just don't know like i don't know what's going on in her head i don't know what she's thinking i don't know what she's feeling oh, you know awesome. like i don't know i just don't know he wants to give her a massage oh he's so sweet like he literally found out she was pregnant by another man don't look at me like that <laughs> he found out that she was pregnant by another man and is still like romantically interested in her like what kind what, who is this man who is he so lena is home from work and as always she is thirsty and she's also beginning to burn out which i totally get she's she's dealing with a lot so i'm gonna have her drink some water and maybe eat some leftovers or actually no let's let's oh wait Let's cook a homestyle recipe for the Bentley bug. Let's make him a beef in whatever cheesecake. What is that? Beef in something cheesecake. Uh, cheesecake? What did I just say? <laughs> That's not what I meant to say. Um, we're also gonna make, I think we're gonna make a, oh, I don't have any installed. Do I really not have any installed? I do need to go through my food mods and, and do some updating and all that stuff. Let's see. Okay, we'll make some steak alfredo for us. Um, he's pooping. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Sorry to intrude, Bentley Bug. Um, so I think tomorrow I am going to have Miss Lena. She does have to work. She works all weekend. Um, I'm going to have Miss Lena do a little negotiating because we do need to get a head start on that. I would rather be moved into the house before the babies come just so we get just so that we can be settled in and you know we don't have to worry about trying to move and stuff while the babies are are here so i think that um we're gonna go on an official date with Kaysen, and maybe that will tell us everything that we need to know um i i'm confused <laughs> i'm so confused so i know that miss lena has to be just as confused if not more um because like She's known Kaysen for what, two years, maybe three, probably pushing four, but she has known Clayton her oh, whole life. Retina. Be careful, uh. please. Don't chop your finger off. Um, ooh, ooh. 
she's known Clayton her whole life and no one knows her better than he does. And I mean, of course, Kaysen could get to know her as time goes, but that history, that history just, it just eats it up, you know, and it, it makes everything so hard and confusing. So I think she's also going to take some time to, um, to write some emotions out. I think she's going to... I don't want her to be upset about anything, but I really want her to try to write and organize her thoughts and figure out what she's gonna do. I genuinely do not think that we're gonna get this done, but I mean, who knows? I, like, <laughs> anything is possible. So I am going to let Miss Lena just kind of sit and ponder some things. She's gonna write in her journal and she's gonna go to bed and we're gonna figure out we're gonna figure out what we're gonna do because we don't have a bunch of time she's gonna be in her second trimester soon like she wants somebody to be there you know and of course bella would be there because that's her bestie but she wants she wants to be supported and she needs to know if it's gonna be Kason or clayton Good morning everybody well rather afternoon um lena of course because she works late sleeps pretty much throughout the entire morning but she is feeling a little sick this morning as always that first trimester once again is kicking her behind as y'all saw it was a really bad storm here in san Mashuno last night but it looks like it might be clearing up a bit uh, once again, the uh, Sim Sessions is in town, but of course, Lena is not going to be going. Um, the Married for Money opportunity has officially <laughs> dissipated, I guess you could say, which is okay. I, I'm i not too mad about it. Like I said, we're not hurting for money. Um, no, thanks. We're not going to go. Um, we're not hurting for money, so I'm not too upset about that. But Lena really wants to... She wants to try to give Kaysen a fair chance. Um, now that we are not pushing to try to get married to somebody, she can breathe a little bit. You know, it's not as um, pertinent. I don't know why I'm using all these big words today. But it's not as important, basically, to push for, um, for a marriage. So... The gender reveal party is on Tuesday, so that will be in the next episode. I am so very excited. Um, her and the girls actually have to meet on Monday to kind of finalize some things, and they are going to decorate the venue. So we may spend a little time with Bella and Tori, um, spend a little time away from Miss Lena. Not saying that I don't like spending time with Lena, but... We might take uh, take them and go to the venue and check everything out and make sure that everything is good and dandy. It looks like Bentley Bug actually went and finally ate his meal. But right now, I think Lena's not 
like hungry she's not starving but i think that she is going to make some sandwiches actually no she's she's gonna make a meal and we're gonna go on a little bit of a picnic yes sure do whatever you want um we're gonna try to go on a little bit of a picnic with uh Kaysen because i really do want to give him a fair chance like i i do and i know that y'all are probably like girl it's really not that deep like clayton is obviously the one for her like this man literally reacted to her getting pregnant by a whole nother man and was like i don't care i still love you <laughs> you know like well, how could you turn that down but lena's just not sure you know like she doesn't know. So she's going to make some galbi, I think it's called. I think it's a Korean. I think that said it was a Korean dish, which is, oh, oh, she was going to throw up. <laughs> she was going to throw up before I stopped her. Um, I think she's going to put her headphones in this morning. She's not even going to fool with the Lindsay. She doesn't feel like it. And she's just going to put on some, um, some jazz. I'm going to turn it down because... I don't really want to hear the jazz music right now. Um, but she's going to make a few things. It's raining again, so we might have a little bit of an indoor picnic, which is fine. Let's see what desserts we can make. Let's make a peach cobbler. I feel like a peach cobbler would be pretty good. She's going to make that really fancy dish. I think our pumpkin is still of excellent quality, so I do want to stick it somewhere. I'm not sure. Oh, can it go right there let's put it down there that's so cute with the little candle on the inside oh that's adorable it's definitely gonna go bad but we'll just wait till it goes bad until we mess around with it so bentley bug is of course running all over the place he's spending some time with mama this morning well afternoon i keep thinking morning because she just woke up but that's so real <laughs> that's so real for me when i wake up it's morning um so I do want to purchase a little picnic basket. I don't know where we could go. We might there might be a park or something in Newcrest. Hopefully it's not raining in Newcrest. Um that we can go to and spend some time. We may even head out to Burnleton Bay. There might be a lot where we can um kind of not set up shop, but just kind of be like our base lot and we kind of walk away and um go do our picnic sorry y'all i'm you all know me i'm doing a million things there we go okay we'll just get the we'll just get this one and we will change the swatch a bit to a lighter swatch y'all know how lena loves her light colors um we're gonna go ahead and throw this in there and we're gonna let her make the um the peach cobbler and we're gonna we're gonna ask casein out on a date i know it you're so sick oh i'm so sorry my love um, I don't know what's filthy about her surroundings. Everything seems pretty much clean. Okay, I was like, I don't know what that's about, but she's feeling a little bit better. She may try to drink some tea before we leave, but I'm gonna let her finish this peach cobbler and we're gonna find somewhere to hang out with Kaysen so we can give him a fair chance. Oh, Bella's walking in the door, just kidding. <laughs> I love that we gave her an apartment key because she literally just like shows up and I think that's so cute because that's so real best friends literally do that and I think that's so cute um I don't know where she what's going on down here squeamish no she's not squeamish she's literally just pregnant oh is the flea oh the flea markets in town that's cool we're not that that interested in uh, the flea market, to be honest. Um, like I was saying, <laughs> I'm going to let her finish this peach cobbler and we're going to find somewhere to go with Kaysen before we go to work. You guys. <laughs> the minute, the minute <laughs> that we're about to go out with. Is this a sign? Is this a sign? I think this might be a sign because the literal minute that we are about to call Kaysen and ask him out on an official date, Clayton wants us to come to his house. I'm gonna take it as a sign and we're gonna go. <laughs> I am, I'm gonna take it as a sign and we're gonna go to Clayton's house because that's so ironic. It literally was the minute, like she had just put the picnic basket in her inventory and was about to call Clayton. I, I, I don't know if y'all saw it, but I literally had opened the phone to call Kaysen out on a date. Like, I'm taking it as a sign. We're gonna go to Clayton's house. <laughs> so we have officially made it to Clayton's house. I am going to 
I, me, am going to give him a hug, a simple hug. Um, and I know that um, we do have the picnic stuff already. I don't, I don't know if we've been to Clayton's apartment, but no. this is Clayton's apartment, everybody. <laughs> Welcome. Um, I'm not sure if we can actually set up the picnic on his table, but we're gonna we're gonna set up the picnic on his table. Look at them. Look at how she looks at him. Like they're literally just having a simple conversation, and she is just like in awe of him like <laughs> i can't deny this like i really wish that like i, I just don't know like <laughs> i just don't know but i mean if if he wants to raise another man's baby babies plural i i mean who am i to say otherwise so she's calling him to come eat and maybe he doesn't want to but we're gonna eat for sure um oh i can control him duh i forgot I'd, i have control any sim in um let's see let's control him and have him also grab a little serving does he still want to give her a massage he does he's so sweet um i want him to come sit on this side and i will move the basket so that lena can sit right here oh i was wondering what she was about to do i should have waited um where did the oh is this a single hold up wait a minute what oh here it is i was like why is this not working it's because that was the single serving duh okay um i'll put it on the hold on okay there we go maybe we can there we go <laughs> call him to the meal she's like go get you some and he is going to oblige he loves lena's uh -huh. cooking okay no we're not doing I that assume. um <laughs> So she is going to clean up her, her plate and she's going to grab some pump, pumpkin cobbler. Where did that come from? Where is my brain at, y'all? <laughs> I don't know where my brain is, but it's definitely not here. Uh, dang, he ate that fast. So he's going to also clean up his plate and he's going to grab a serving of the peach cobbler as well. She is going to be a little bit late to work because I do want her to finish her cobbler um this is cute this is sweet i i don't know i'm i'm kind of taking it as a sign um a sign of what i i don't know but a part of me still does want to give Kaysen a fair chance because you know i just want to see i just want to see because lena she has me she has me confused but I think we are going to leave the peach cobbler and the ga galvi. Is that what it's called? I think that's how you pronounce it. We're going to leave that to him. We're going to put it in his fridge. We're going to clean up a bit and we're going to go to work. But I think that this episode has been long enough already. I really would love for you guys to tell me what y'all think. Like, what are we going to do? We obviously were not pushing to get married now, which is okay. So what do we do? Do we pursue things with Clayton and just tell Kaysen that there's nothing there, but there's a little something there. It's just not as strong as Clayton. Or do we really try to give Kaysen a fair chance? Like, I just, I just feel like that is the best course of action, you know, in my personal opinion. But I don't know. It's just like every time she's around him, she just gets super, super flirty and she just wants to love on him and do all the things. But oh, oh, oh my gosh. OK, OK, I've had enough. <laughs> I've had enough. Thank you guys so much for watching. I've had enough. <laughs> I've had enough of Miss Lena for one day. Um. <laughs> I can't. Please don't forget that you are loved. You are beautiful. You are amazing. There is absolutely nobody, and I mean absolutely, absolutely nobody on this earth who is like you and who could. And can, oh my gosh. Please don't forget that you are loved. You are beautiful. You are unique. And there is nobody, and I mean absolutely nobody on this earth that is like you, that can do you like you, and who knows you like you. Please let me know what y'all think in the comments down below. Please don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, all the things. 
also remember that there is nothing that is impossible because the word itself is i'm possible i love you guys so much and i'll see y'all in the next video bye